In the immediate aftermath of the campfire last November, there was an obvious need to make large amounts of bottled water, such as this, available to thousands of displaced residents scattered in shelters throughout the area. After discovering the presence of contaminants in our water system, we decided that a continuing supply of bottled water is crucial while we work to restore our water distribution system and eliminate the contaminants and any dangers they might present. Needless to say, we at PID are grateful to Nestle Waters for their generous donations of bottled water, to the Hope Center for volunteering to distribute it, and last but not least, to the Convoy of Hope for hundreds of thousands of bottles they have transported so far. One of the key ingredients, anytime people go through a disaster, there's two things they need right away, food and water. And you can live several days, with, if not weeks, without food, but you can only live a few days without water. So water is a key ingredient to everything that we do in disaster response. To date, we've been able to provide uh, Convoy of Hope with 420,000 bottles of water for the Paradise victims during their recovery. Uh, we're going to provide another 300,000 bottles, uh, some that we're loading up today. Uh, all in all, it's about 22 truckloads of water heading up to Paradise for the recovery efforts. And it's almost a million bottles of water. There's a huge amount of pride <clears throat> from everybody in the factory, from the people that are physically bottling the water, they, they palletize it, put it in the trucks, people on the office staff, there's a lot of pride, uh, everybody in this factory, to make a positive impact on the community. So in Paradise, we were working with Paradise Nazarene Church. They became our distribution site. So when we would get the water from Nestle, we would take it up there to Paradise and drop it off in that church parking lot. And then church uh, volunteers would take, in turn, distribute that water. For about the last two months, we've been distributing five cases to each household. And that, like today, they come today on Thursday, they can come back next Tuesday and get another. Anytime you're in a, in a disaster setting like this, partnerships are so important. Convoy of Hope can't do it by ourselves. Uh, the churches can't do it by themselves. Nestle can't do it by themselves. And Cal OES can't do it by themselves. But when you get all those organizations working together for one common good, it's amazing what you can get accomplished. City of Hope logo overlaid with text Bottled Water Hope Center Reentry Center 311 Circle Wood, corner of Skyway and Neal Road behind the Paradise sign, one case of water per day per household, hours 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Saturday. City of Hope logo overlaid with text, self-serve potable water fill station, up to 5-gallon containers, PID treatment plant, 13888 Pine Needle Drive, Magalia, near the intersection of Skyway and Countalink Road. Bring your own containers hours 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Hope Center Reentry Center 311 Circle Wood, corner of Skyway and Neal Road, behind the Paradise Sign, hours 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Saturday.